say here with Junior County, um, you know, wrapping up uh, this Five for the Fight Food Fest event. Um, what was kind of your mentality coming into this event? Um, really, it was just, you know, as a team specifically, we, you know, we came in, we coming into this, you know, to prove something because, you know, we got snuffed in the rankings and all that other stuff. And, you know, when it really comes down to it, that stuff doesn't matter. And so, you know, we just kind of came with the mentality to, like, you know, just prove everybody wrong. And that was kind of my mentality, too, is just to, you know, just show them what we have. And so, yeah. You know, talk about um, you guys' second game. Because the first game you went up against Montbird, lost. Mm -hmm. What adjustments did you guys make to come out for that second game? And you know, uh, what was the energy like? Um, one big adjustment we made was our pressure and just kind of going back to the Wasatch way of playing. And so coming into that second game, right out the gate, we started jumping and trapping and, you know, just playing how we play, you know, fast, going basketball. And that kind of brought the energy with it too. And so, you know, we were, we were excited for this one, especially how, you know, how uh, our first game went. So, you know, we we're excited. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, it's been a minute since uh, we last spoke with you. It was uh, Crossroads 2023. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like your game has developed uh, since then, so the past year and a half or so? Um, I think I've got a lot more mature. Um, I feel like, you know, with the strength I've gained, it's kind of helped me just, you know, play more at my own pace and get to the rim and finish. And my shots been coming together. So, you know, just all around, I feel like I just, improved so much since then. Yeah, for sure. Um, anything that you're looking to continue to get better at? Um, yeah, definitely, you know, just seeing the floor off ball screens, uh, just keep my balance, and, you know, that's really been it, just balance and just uh, being able to see the floor more. Yeah, for sure. What have you been doing uh, specifically to try to improve your balance? Um, really just, you know, just repetition, just practicing, just getting, you know, full speed into the paint, just jump stopping and, you know, just being more patient. And so, yeah. For sure. Um, how do you feel like you impact winning? Um, I feel like I impact winning on all sides of the floor, whether it's rebounding or defense or just keeping my teammates, you know, motivated and keeping them on the right track, just being the leader. For sure. How would you kind of describe yourself as a leader? Um, I feel like right now, um, I do a lot of the communication, you know, for the team, just, you know, talking about matchups and just making sure we know what we're doing and just, you know, like making sure guys don't get too much in their head about mistakes or something because, you know, there's always the next play, so. For sure. Um, you know, this is your first year with Wasatch Academy, but you were with uh, Real Salt Lake that's now currently Utah Prep. What kind of led to your decision to transfer, and, and what are you hoping to get out of, out of this experience with Wasatch? Um, I've known Coach P for a long time, and so it was kind of always my plan to come over to Wasatch eventually. And so it just I just happened to be ready to be able to transfer to this school. So okay. and that was great. Um, I really trust Coach P and his program, and so you know it just felt right, you know, coming here and. Um, Man, I'm just hoping that I can just get better and just improve and win on the you know the biggest stage in high school basketball. So yeah, um, what made you feel like you were ready to, to make that jump? Um, really, just my size. Like I had gotten over that summer, I had got like 15 pounds of muscle on me, and so I just I just felt mature enough, and I felt like I was ready to be able to play. And my skills were developed, so. For sure. Uh, you know, you come from an athletic family, and stuff like that. Um, you know, what are some things that both, you know, your parents and your siblings have kind of instilled in you over the years? Man, um, watching my watching my older siblings during college and high school, and just you know how hard they work, and my dad, you know, he's always getting me in the gym and always working out with me too. So it's like they always made sure I was you know, working on my body and just improving my strength and seeing them work out just inspired me to yeah, get better. Sure. Um, getting into your recruitment a little bit, just what's the latest in terms of interests and offers? 
Um, right now, um, I've been talking to Houston and Purdue and Mississippi State a lot. Um, some of the local schools like BYU, I've been talking to Utah, I've been talking to. And so, you know, it's been great so far. Have you taken any like unofficial visits up to this point? Uh, I took an unofficial to Houston and an o official to Purdue. Okay. Any schools you'd love to see get involved in the future? Um, man, uh, I guess like just really whoever is, you know, interested in my game, I don't really, it doesn't really matter who, just whoever believes in me. For sure. Um, ideally, like, what do you want out of a school of choice? Um, really just a coaching staff I can trust and a coaching staff that believes in me and just, you know, just the environment, how they roll, you know, how family oriented they are and just, you know, yeah. um, you know, off the floor, like outside of basketball, what do you like to spend your time on? Um, I play a lot of video games, um, I read here and there, but, you know, it's been mostly basketball the past couple of months. Yeah, gotcha. Um, what video games are you playing? Um, Call of Duty, Valorant, really anything, to be okay. honest. Anything. Right. <laughs> and how are you doing against your teammates in, in Call of Duty? Uh, man, they get me in like 2K and NCAA and all that, but any other game, gotcha. I got them. Beat, you got them? For sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, any like books, movies, TV shows you're into? Um, I've been really into Snowfall lately. All right. So, yeah, I mean, I've been watching that okay. in my free time. And, and what is that? Is that like a crime thriller? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's on, uh, yeah, it's on Hulu. It's really good. Right. Um, if you had like four words to describe yourself, what uh, four words come to mind? Um, man, uh, I guess passionate, um, Grateful. Um, for, uh, um, happy and yeah. I'm very man. What's the word? Um, can't think of it right now. Uh, Sorry, we stick with the three. Uh, so passionate, grateful, and happy. Just what, why did those words come to mind? Uh, just because, you know, I really love basketball. You know, it's something I want to do for most part of my life, you know. And so, you know, I, I really love the game. I'm really, I'm super passionate about it. And, you know, um, life lately has been great. So, you know, I've been happy. You know, everything on and off the court has been good. Um, and then, you know, I'm super grateful for the program and just my family and all the time they put in to get me where I am right now. Yeah, no, I love that. We'll wrap it with this, but, um, you know, ideally five, six years from now, where do you see yourself? Uh, hopefully, hopefully playing somewhere professionally, whether it's in the NBA or overseas somewhere, just still kind of involved with basketball, no matter where it is, and hopefully still playing. Awesome. Thanks for the time, man. Yes, sir.